charge strike is the way to go against the bosses. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that speed of that attack is just kind of crazy to me. Probably a little bit funny for me to start this video like this, but look how much damage the war traps add to my frenzy. Literally adds an extra 400 damage or so, which helps when I'm using these particular weapons that don't do a whole lot of damage. And then I put a metal grid so that I just hit more often because higher chance to hit the enemy is going to result in me killing the enemy faster, especially for bosses and stuff like that. So I think the war traps on these, on this particular build, this is the same build that I showcased on my previous video, but I just wanted to say this. I think this might actually be better because really the thing that's going to be taking out the tougher enemies faster is the crushing blow and I don't need the extra 15 from the from the gore riders I'm actually put I actually went and put the high lords onto my amazon and then the gore riders as well so I can get that deadly strike so without further ado let me show the amazon cuz this this isn't the star of this show right here Here's the star of the show, my dual spec Amazon. She's got a very badly rolled faith bow, but it, it gets the job done. I'm not really worried too much about it. It could have a better fanaticism aura on it. Could have two to all skills, but I'm, I mean, it is what it is. <clears throat> gets the job done, like I said. Some 220 gloves. Dual leech ring. Tea gods. Raven frost. Some arrows, high lords, mavinas, and then chains of honor. On swap, I got T stroke, and I got a headhunter's glory with two IAS jewels in it, and then an enhanced damage jewel. I think one of the IAS ones has some enhanced damage on it as well. And then I got gore riders. I was rocking with war travelers, but I think the gore riders is actually going to be better since I'm not using Atmos on this anymore and I got High Lords that way I can have a higher deadly strike for my arrows and Crushing Blow which I don't have on any other gear and then I like Chains of Honor instead of Fortitude for the plus two to skills so that I could take out bosses faster so let's take this through a bail run real quick just to showcase the build I could do a Diablo run, but I feel like Diablo will, Diablo will die way quicker. And I know that I'm not reaching the 95 IAS breakpoint, but I feel like this is fast enough. You know, sometimes you're going to have to sacrifice certain things for other stuff, and I feel like it's not really a big deal with this being a dual spec. me look bad and then my mercenary has reaper's toll treachery and akira's on with the 15 ias true i feel like since i don't have the uh since i don't have atmos scarab on anymore i feel like having reaper's toll on my mercenary really helps out And I actually like Chains of Honor as well for the Life Leech, because I don't have a whole lot of stuff with Life Leech on it. So I'm noticing I'm getting a lot better Life Leech. I'm, I'm mostly going to be using Strafe on this, but sometimes I will use Multi-Shot. But I mean, look how fast she jabs. I mean, that's ridiculous. If she didn't get knocked back by Bale, she would be able to take out Bale really quick, but... I feel like it's all everything's like good enough especially for the sake of playing players one I like to use multi shot like in a situation like that right there and I'm really noticing I don't really lose too much kill speed not having fortitude on her I benefit more from my Barbarian having Fortitude on. And because she's using the Javelin as well, I get 
more charged bolts because of the plus two to skills. I think fortitude would always be the obvious option if it had like plus one or plus two to skills on it, but then I think fortitude would be overpowered. Fortitude would be something that was like the only, you'd only see people using fortitude and chains of honor would be a lot less, a lot less people would make chains of honor because of the burr rune and other things I think if fortitude had plus the skills on it as well, it would be overpowered at that point. Plus I get more, more arrows on my multi shot with having the Chains of Honor on as well. Previously I was literally only using Strafe because it just feels like it shoots so fast and everything. Plus when I had Atma Scarab it would proc a whole lot. Speaking of that, probably need to get arrows soon. I might need to get arrows during the run. I'm not going to edit anything about this just so I can show show the whole thing show a realistic situation with this particular build rather than just you know trying to get the best possible run I can and only show you that I want to show you like natural gameplay using the build I like being able to stand back and be safe like this. Plus having the Chains of Honor really helps with the res. I'm not sure whether or not I have um, the quest. Yeah, I do. So wow. So she just... Afternoon. It's just kind of a little bit harder to stack up resistances on her compared to certain other characters like the Barbarian or the Paladin. So Chains of Honor really comes in handy in that aspect as well. I'm not even going to worry about the arrows. I might find some on the way. And if I don't and I run out, then I'll literally just throw javelins for the rest of the run. Doesn't really matter. Not a big deal. We can handle it. Another thing about having the Chains of Honor too, we don't have to worry as much about the about the souls. I like to just swap for those. They die a lot faster than that. Hold on to that. For the sake of making the run faster, I'm gonna just go straight to bail. Oh, look at that. I called it. I mean, arrows are not very uncommon. Said I'm gonna go straight to bail, and it's like I, it's like I'm a shark, and I just smell blood, and I had to come over here. I'll go straight over here. I want to try to keep this video under 10 minutes. I need to check those greater claws though, because that could be good. Having that Reaper Stole Merc is basically like having half of an atmosphere of at least. Hmm. Don't really care for that skill. I want one with, with traps or something on it. I want one with better stats on it. Because I'm going to make a chaos eventually. Probably better off using a lightning fury on these on these packs so that I could try to keep the run under 10 minutes of the video I think I'll probably wind up going over because I have my little intro 
talking about my previous video and how I switched some gear around between the Barbarian and her. But it's all good. I mean, it's this is really niche content. And I don't think... If somebody likes the content and it's a little bit over 10 minutes, I don't think they're gonna hate me too much for it. And people can always just skip around to see per certain parts if they want to see how fast it clears out Bale or how fast... I'm trying to keep this Merc alive. Can I keep him alive? Of, co of fucking course not, dude. Fucking moron just stays dead, I swear to god. It's all good. I mean, even without the Might R right there, handled handled him pretty decently. Honestly, don't really need the Might R anymore because when I get the Bale, I'm gonna be just using Charge Strike against them. I mean, that jab, that's just like a ridiculous jab. I actually have a javelin with plus three to skills and amplified damage on it, so maybe. That'll get some use after the next after the next patch. And we'll see how we'll see how things go with the patch and the changes and stuff. And I might actually have I might use something different than lightning or than charge strike. I might use fend or jab or something like that against bosses and amp damage them and stuff like that with a different javelin. Go pure physical build or something like that. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm kind of liking this build though a lot. One thing that I don't like is just how, like I feel after using the assassin more, I feel like the assassin takes out Bale way faster. It's like when I'm with the assassin, it's like the assassin, and then. He's always got to do some little bullshit tricks when I'm trying to make a fucking video, trying to fuck up the run. Every time it's like, hey motherfucker, I'm filming here, trying to make the build look good and you got this fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. It's like RNG, the enemy AI behavior. Jesus Christ. Funny, all the attacks, all the good attacks need mana, and Bale just fucking drains that shit. Doesn't this attack not miss? Oh, it's not even. Jesus fucking Christ. Just go ahead and fuck up the whole run. Just ruin the whole fucking video, asshole. Ruin the whole fucking video. And get me demonetized for cussing while you're at it, even though the channel's not even monetized. I almost feel like I'm obliged to make another fucking, uh, to do, I almost feel like I gotta do the run again, just so I can show you her against Bale. But I mean, honestly, she sucks compared to the assassin against Bale, because it's like the assassin sticks her foot up Bale's ass and it stays there, and he can't run away from you. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Tom Brady. Come over here, sir. Come over here, sir. Is he 
dead? Where'd he go? Did this motherfucker teleport somewhere? like I'm constantly on a mission to save my fucking mercenaries ass dude Man. that's one thing I'll say having the atmosphere definitely made the bow a little bit more effective but at the same time it still gets the job done really I only really need the, the mercenary for my bow damage because it adds a little bit of extra damage Honestly, after I've seen, after I've seen the speed that the assassin takes out Bale, it's like I can't unsee, I can't unsee how fast the assassin deals with Bale after seeing it. She just doesn't kill as fast. Even, even if I had nothing but jab skillers in my inventory and all that, I just feel like something about her faster hit recovery and other things like just makes her like she just gets like knocked back more I don't know what it is I think it's just the way that this attack winds up and operates and everything I think the way that the kick is it's like the kick kind of locks onto the enemy the same way the smite does but yeah that's the build I might actually show you her against Diablo just cut to that so you can see her killing Diablo really quick because he only has like 75,000 health or something like that so she'll take him out like in no time but I think with the assassin kick not missing she's just a better boss killer than this but everybody have a great day take it easy and stay safe out there and I decided I'm just gonna show me clearing the rest of chaos out with this build just so you can get an idea of what it's capable of and everything like that. Some of these enemies are immune to lightning and then some of them are not, so certain attacks are going to work better against some and then some the bows better against. And that's my whole point of having a dual spec build because certain enemies that would die a lot slower using the bow I can just swap and I can either hit them with charge strike or I can throw lightning oh my god it's like the button for my potions is right next to my escape button because I got a 65% keyboard so if you ever notice how often that I'm constantly almost accidentally exiting exiting out of games and stuff like that it's because all my keys are kind of cramped together and it's usually not an issue but for some reason it only happens to me on Diablo it never happens when I'm playing shooter games and shit I guess because the WS and WSAD and everything I gotta kind of have my hands on those keys a little bit more and I'm not really taking my fingers off of those as much The speed that she throws is just crazy though to me. Only problem is running out of mana constantly, but I think even if I was using even if I was using a pair some titans, she's not gonna get the mana back fast enough to make up for the fact that it's costing 29. And then also I don't really think an insight merc is the best for this particular build. Also, I could switch to the bow, swap over to the bow, and and leech some mana like that. 
Because, I mean, when I'm using strafe, I really gain a lot of mana back really, really fast, it feels like. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of ways to, to slice it. But definitely the charge strike is the way to go against the bosses. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that speed of that attack is just kind of crazy to me. That's why I use the Headhunter's Glory. Sacrifice those two. That plus two to skills that I would get for the spirit. 